Would you look at that? Perfect timing. Good, you're here. Didn't want to put this in anyone's hands but yours. Ugh, sorry. Some greasy Sith really didn't want me to have that. How could you let yourself be put in that situation? He didn't play fair. Son of a mine knocks by a trap on me. But I wasn't about to let him get his hands on that. That belonged to Darth Null. Took us ages to find it. But it was worth it. Unless we know what this is, it's not much help. And that's why I came straight here. Arn and the old man have been breaking their backs, looking for patterns in what we know about Darth Null, hoping to find another fortress. They must have read every report on Null at least 20 times a piece. They finally narrowed it down to a few places that seemed like good candidates. We split up and started looking. I was the lucky winner, the one who knows the least about this stuff, but I'm hoping you can help me fix that. It's unfortunate Master Nostral didn't get to it first. His expertise would mean a lot less wasted time. The old man did say there was somebody here who could help. A scientist? Someone he met last time he visited? Dr. Ogarub? That's him. He knows nothing of the Force. What could he possibly tell us? All I know is Master Nostaral vouches for him. And if he works for you, he must be pretty damn good at what he does. Fine. Let's go. Right. Not now, Sahar. Just try. I know you have it in you. That's not what your precious Jedi said. It's what I'm saying. Found my way without your sorcery. Had to cut my slave collar with this. She gave me a choice. Die or fight back. I fought and I excelled, Sahar. The day I became a Mandalorian, I knew I found my home. I hoped you would find success. You always had fire. I had little choice. Some earn what they have. Some are given everything. And some lose it all. You dare speak to me about suffering? Even the best armor has flaws. Spaces between plates of Beskar steel where blood can be drawn. The events of Runok have shown me our flaws. I planned for Shevisla to find us. She did. I challenged her and was nearly defeated. An outcome that was not expected. How could my plans so miss the mark? I asked myself. I looked and looked and finally found my answer. Someone doesn't honor their agreements. Someone values credits over their own life. Hey, hey, 
Hey now, what's going on here? Best son, with the right guidance, I had hoped your kind would be worthy of our cause. Yeah, of course! That's always been the plan! I learned that you used your pretty machines in the duel on Runok. No doubt why Shay fared as well as she did. What? No! It was the other way around. I wanted you to win. You beat Shay, we do this war thing, we all get rich! So you used your machine on Shay, and she still bested me? Yes! Uh, I mean, no! Uh, I'm not saying that! Okay, let me explain! No need. Darmanda is our enemy. Because of him, we lost Runok. Because of me, we gained a great deal more. Sahar, can you come up here? This one brought me something taken from the clutches of Darth Malgus. Something so powerful both the Sith and the Jedi race across the galaxy to claim it. With Sahar's help, we can unlock its secrets. I told you, Hedda. We shouldn't do this. It's not safe. You're right. It's never safe to change a galaxy. Never easy to fight corruption and hypocrisy. But your brother said you would face anything to restore balance. Each of you will gather the resources needed to make my vision a reality. You will have your assignments, but none will know the whole plan, except myself and Sahar. At long last, we will take back what is ours! So, I heard you ran into Sahar. Is she alright? Can't believe she's gotten herself mixed up in all that Mandalorian business. I could sense a heavy burden of guilt in her. Pain and unimaginable loss. I think she believes the only way to find relief is to stay by her brother's side. Right. Her brother. You know, I barely even remember her mentioning a brother on Osis. Now he's got her turning her back on us. Over here, I do believe I've found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? I didn't get a chance to look closely at it or anything. I just know it was some kind of trap and that relic was in it. Stop pestering her. We've wasted enough time as it is. Sorry. Can you tell us anything about what Tao found? Indeed I can. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. I was beginning to think no one would ever tell me anything about Darth Null that doesn't lead to more questions. I aim to please. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That's where Osis is. Jedi get crystals from the Adika system to build their lightsabers. We have for hundreds of years. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Well, she was helping the Emperor control people through the Force, right? I'll bet she used those crystals in some horrible machine that hunted down Jedi and turned them into children of the Emperor. All we have are pieces of a broken lightsaber. I don't think we should jump to all these conclusions. We may not have reached a conclusion, but I do believe we are finally heading toward one. What do you think about talking to Malgus again? 
You've got something up your sleeve you didn't have last time. We're getting nowhere with him. I'd rather focus on our own investigations into Darth Null without getting sidetracked by Malgus. It's frustrating, I get it. But we might know something Malgus doesn't. When else will we get a chance to catch him off guard? All right. While we wait for more intel to come in, I'll see Malgus. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. If we're finished here, I have places to be. The chat you had with Dr. Ogura paints a better picture of what Malgus may have been up to. Darth Knoll's work on mind control says a lot, but combining Sith and Jedi toys? That's big news. Malgus following in the footsteps of someone with Jedi connections is a plot twist I wasn't expecting. Never mind Hedda Cole getting her hands on Darth Knoll's holocron. Has Malgus been behaving himself? Haven't seen any security alerts since the last time you were here. He can't use mind tricks on the droids and no one gets in without our say-so. You could say he's been on his best behavior. If he weren't so uncooperative. What we learned about Darth Null's Jedi influence does give us something to go on. Though admittedly not much. Heads up. Looks like we have a special guest. Tell these droids to get out of my way! I need to speak to Malgus! They answer only to the Supreme Chancellor and cannot be overridden, Shay. Some higher-up is all sweaty about my past contracts with Malgus. They've got no understanding of how those things work. One of those contracts was destroying the defense grid on Coruscant during an Imperial invasion. I was there to do a job. I did it and moved on. You should understand that. You and I have an understanding. But I owe no loyalty to the Republic, or to the Empire, Malgus included. Perhaps, but permission to interrogate the prisoner is restricted to a select few. I'm going to find out if he's working with Hedda, with or without permission. This is not the place to start a fight. I don't start fights. I end them. I need you to trust me, like back on Runic. So, what's it gonna be? You're not going in there. That's final. Think about it. I'm the only one here who knows him. I get how he thinks, how he twists everything around, what's really important to him. I can make this happen. Doesn't change the fact that Shay isn't on the VIP list. Then put me on comms. Comes to listen in. I don't like it. Any contact with Malgus is dangerous. You're right, but I survive by his side longer than most. If you listen to me, we can trip him up. This is a terrible risk, but time is short. We need something new to provoke Malgus. If it helps, we'll be in full control. Something feels off. We shut everything down. The moment you cease being useful, you're cut off. Is that clear? She doesn't move from this spot. are useless against Malgus. He fears nothing. You keep talking about putting an end to what he wants, and we'll get nowhere. 
Make him think you understand. That's the key to getting anything out of him. If you explain to me what you hope to accomplish, maybe I can help you. Maybe there's another way to finish what you started. A way that others will accept. Few minds can comprehend my vision. Is your vision so fragile it will come undone simply by mentioning it? You're losing our only chance to ask about Hedda. I want to know how Hedda Cole fits into your plan. I have no need for the Mandalorians or their quarrels. An endless cycle of waste and fodder. Useless. Big talk from inside that cell. Still sitting on the throne of defeat? I told you he won't respond to that. Get him to think you're on his side. We learned that Darth Null used Jedi techniques in her work. Did you know about that? Do you think there is any knowledge of Darth Null that I do not already possess? It was only a matter of time before you discovered the connection. Her mastery of Jedi secrets is woven into all of her creation. Like her, my vision surmounts Jedi and Sith, Empire and Republic. Showing our hand wouldn't have been my choice, but you got him talking. Ask about Hedda. We need details of this vision you still cling to. Your life depends on it. There is nothing you can do that I haven't already suffered tenfold by my own ignorance. The Emperor kept the Sith distracted with petty squabbles, while he hoarded true power. Your kind are no better. Caging the Force within those few they deem worthy. I will tear apart the corrupt systems that allow weakness to infect the galaxy. I will stop the rot. I will burn down all of their failing legacies and see who embraces the flame. More of his mystical Osik. What about the Holocron? Does Hedda have something she can use against my people? Who whispers in your ear? This is between you and me, Malgus. It is too late. Your thoughts are plain to me, Mandalore the Avenger. Your rage consumes you. There was a battle, and your prey slipped through your fingers. Your people are divided, while Heta Kull gathers her army. You are right to come begging for answers. Heta will destroy you. Where is she? Dindila Hutun, answer me! looms over us all, a shadow of unchanging history. There are fools who believe they can outrun the shadow. Without a flame to chase it away, it will consume them, 
They are doomed to repeat the same failures. None who have stood by my side have understood this. The only one who could have is my enemy. A shame that you and I must remain that way. Nothing lasts forever. Greetings. I'm relieved you answered. I must make an unusual request. Someone somewhere is always asking something of me. I understand that this is one request out of many, but the circumstances are unique. I have been summoned by the three. What they had to say has left me disquieted. Meet me at these coordinates on Voss, and I will explain in greater detail. Others have been handling your responsibilities during your little personal visit. I needed you to help identify one of Darth Null's relics, and you were nowhere to be found. I apologize, but I could not have ignored an invitation from the three. Then what you have to say better be important. Your apprehension is understandable, even expected, but this is important. I will await your arrival. Voss. <laughs> well, at least it's nice this time of year. We have enough mysteries to contend with without getting the Voss involved. They're not exactly known for being straightforward. Sana Ray sounded unlike herself. I do hope whatever she has to tell you isn't too troubling. You're here. Sonare hoped you would come quickly. After all the time you spent on your mission, I hope you have something useful to tell me. I do. You have arrived. Good. I have been waiting to show you this. When we first uncovered the existence of Darth Null, I could not imagine that tracing the origins of one of her relics would lead here. The strange ruins are confound on the planet in wild space. They were resistant to his presence for a reason. It took more time than I cared to admit, but I finally found another way inside. That's why I found... this. What you are about to see. Darth Null possessed a talent that was unique among her kind. Through the Force, she could connect her mind to another's. Darth Null could speak to someone's most hidden desires reach depths of their thoughts they could not reach themselves. Over great distances, she could mentally bond with anyone who could feel the Force. In those who did not recognize their own abilities, she awakened that realization. Sharing this knowledge was unacceptable to those around Darth Null. She was ostracized, friendless. Darth Null took those who would follow her to an empty world in wild space, where they could do as they pleased, without judgment. Null taught her disciples how to forge mental bonds as she did. They called out to others and invited them to their sanctuary. But Darth Null was careless. She made contact with someone she shouldn't have. The Sith Emperor, as he was then. 
He took advantage of her mistake. He ruthlessly pursued her. Before the Emperor could reach her followers, No locked many of their secrets away in the ruins Arkin found. Noel and the others fought back against their captors, but their fate was sealed. The Emperor dominated the minds of her disciples, bent them to his will, enslaved them. After that day, Noel's followers became servants of the Emperor, and she became Darth Noel. If the Emperor made her Darth Null after she was captured, who was she before? She was no one. At least, not after she was expelled from the Jedi Order. How can we claim to be defenders of peace if we so readily abandon our own to such a fate? I do not have much to say about how the Jedi conduct themselves. Voss also live by rules that many outsiders consider inflexible. The account of Darth Null's removal from the Jedi is told from her own perspective. We do not know much about what transpired before that, other than what she was called, Master Renaya. Malgus knows about Master Renaya and everything else about Darth Null's past. I'm sure of it. We're chasing shadows and making fools out of ourselves. But now the truth has come to light. If Malgus wanted to hide it forever, he failed. All that you found about Darth Null, why did I have to come to Voss to hear it? After I heeded the Three's request to return to Voss, I heard whisperings. Rumors of a vision that caused great concern among the mystics. The Three forbade them to speak about what was seen. A revelation centered on Darth Malgus. You brought me here to find out more about the vision. I brought you here to try. The three know well the value you would place on hearing the details of this vision. But they would never share them with an outsider. Even one of your status. Unless you gave them a reason to. Can't you ask them about the vision? I... They would not reveal it to me. But there is another way. Despite our best efforts, some of our most sacred temples have yet to be rebuilt in the years since Valen's assault. The Shrine of Contemplation is too deep within Gormak lands. The work is slow, even with aid from the few Gormak who have chosen to continue their alliance with the Voss. The three are overseeing progress at the Shrine of Contemplation now. If you were to approach them and offer your assistance, perhaps you will change their minds about the vision. With luck, they will be receptive to one with your gracious reputation. If I get the slightest sense that the three will not cooperate with me, I will leave. A fair proposition. I'd like to speak with you for a moment before you depart. Here are the coordinates for the Shrine of Contemplation. I will send a message ahead to the commandos there to expect your arrival. You wanted to speak to me about something? This talk of visions, it reminded me. Something strange happened while I was away. As I searched Darth Maul's ruins, every step I took felt so familiar. Like I had been there before. If you'd been there before, wouldn't you have noticed it sooner? It was confusing, distressingly so. I was so certain I had stood on the surface of that empty world, even though I could not remember when or why. I spoke with Sanarei about this sense of familiarity. It didn't take long before she understood what I was feeling. 
I was there, in those ruins, once before, during the ritual in the Shrine of Healing. How is that possible? I am unsure. This realization awakened other memories of what I saw while the Voss healed me. I believed they were dreams at the time, but Sana Ray believes otherwise. She says they were visions. Why do you sound so concerned? Something like this isn't beyond your abilities? This... was different. In the ritual, the mystics infuse part of their spirit with yours. It is not uncommon for a mystic's gifts to be shared with the one they are cleansing. They open my mind to unreachable distances. The past. What may happen. What never will. In truth, it is all still a blur. It was as if I lived decades in the span of hours. I saw centuries worth of horrors committed by my father. I felt the rage and the cruelty born of my desperation to please him. The suffering and the devastation I caused it was all made plain to me. When I learned what my father had done in Darth Maul's ruins, old fears resurfaced. I was afraid I saw those ruins because I was doomed to follow in his footsteps. But there were visions of hope as well, of serving a greater purpose. I saw the work I could do, how I could dedicate myself to atonement. Like helping you stop Darth Malgus, reliving that vision. It reminded me that I have far to go before I can be forgiven for all that I inflicted upon others. If that is even possible. But I am moving in the right direction. I don't know if you can absolve yourself of all that you did. There will always be reminders of the pain. I know. I will never expect forgiveness, or even acceptance from anyone I have hurt. But I will cherish any that is offered. I don't think I could have ever seen things in this light without your help. There will never be enough I can do to thank you. It is time. The three have asked you to appear before them. Your actions have left an impression. A rare achievement. They are waiting for you now. Why did the three call you here? What did they want to talk to you about? A question I have delayed answering for too long. What are you talking about? When the Eternal Empire threatened the galaxy, my presence in your alliance was understandable, but much has changed. The Outsiders' wars no longer concern Voss. We have our own struggles. The three want to know why I do not return and continue my duties as a mystic. After I joined the Alliance, I no longer had access to interpreters who could derive meaning from my visions for the first time. My actions were determined by my own decisions, and a Voss who chooses to remain with outsiders is a Voss who is forever looked upon with doubt. Your place won't always be guaranteed. If something happens, don't blame me when the Voss won't take you back. The choices I have made are mine, and I do not regret them. I seek a greater purpose. Beyond what I found as a mystic, you are the only person who has ever given me the opportunity to search for it. I have kept you too long. The three will be wondering what has delayed you.
Outsider, do you understand the importance of this meeting? This isn't my first audience with the Three. I met with your predecessors without incident. I think this will go just as well. I am inclined to agree. I believe you are worthy of the knowledge we plan to share. There has been a vision. Its contents are disturbing. Life will be reshaped. Scales unbalanced. A wave of change rises and falls, beyond the reach of Darth Malgus. And as he dreams, he awakens a great power. One that will tear the galaxy apart. Pretty words. But I was hoping for something I could use against Malgus. It is always useful to be prepared. That is the gift we offer you. Should Darth Malgus perish, this catastrophe will transpire more quickly. I don't understand why you're keeping this vision a secret. To protect Vos. You are familiar with the visions experienced by our mystics. The role these prophecies play? What your mystics see is very important to your people. Your government, your societal rules, everything relies on these visions. And from these revelations, the interpreters show us the path. The decisions we must make to preserve our home, our way of life. But in this vision, we see no outcome. There is nothing to guide us. The interpreters are united in its meaning. The Three. The Voss. We can do nothing. We are powerless. This shrouded prophecy will come to pass. The foundations will be shaken. The pillars raised. The chaos is unavoidable. But whatever is to come from this, it is you who will choose the fate of us all. Our destiny is in the hands of an outsider. Do you see why we shield our people from this? I'm tired of being responsible for the consequences of every decision. You can fight against destiny, but it is inescapable. Whatever part you play in this, enemy or ally, none of it will happen without you. You must be ready. We will be waiting.